Yo, how's it going? I got a key fragment. Yo. 408% more of whatever the fuck that said. <laughs> Give us feedback. Oh my god, there's so much happening. We got a misfortune skin that I don't that I don't want. I'm never playing misfortune. Um <laughs> I already have Darius too, like I don't need this dude. I don't need this. Alright, thank you for the 200 cents. I will use this. What do you want? Okay, like... A few minutes to talk to us. We promise this will be short. We'd like to hear your thoughts on each of the following. Masterwork chest, event orbs, and event capsules. So nothing to do with the actual game, this is all cosmetics. Items that contain a blend of skin shards, orange essence, emote permanence, and ward skin shards. Occasionally they also contain mythic essence. Ooh. Event orbs. Items that are available only during specific events and contain random skin shards. Occasionally they also contain mythic essence or other. So mythic essence is how you get like super rare skins. Like uh, you can click on it just to see it's rotating. So there are these, these, these crazy rare skins here. You, you need specifically Mythic Essence in order to get the get them. There used to be Gemstones was how you got these, but they changed it to Mythic Essence. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. I kind of like the new system more, I guess. I like it a little bit more. Event capsules, items that are available only during some events and contain three skin shards. Occasionally they also contain event-specific items. Okay. So which of these have you bought in the past month? None of them. I have not bought any of those. Okay, that was <laughs> one fucking question, dude. Sure. Now that I have fiddlesticks, I don't need this Vagar picture anymore, because he is way scarier looking. Vagar used to be a cool guy, not so much anymore. Kind of got sick of playing him. Mostly because mid lane is, like, annoying. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I'm having so much fun 1v3 versus mid jun enemy jungle and support on a champion that has no agency. Like, it's great. I put an E on the enemy team, and that's my contra contribution to the game. Mm. Well, my one Malphite game has skyrocketed us into first place, which I suppose should be the case since I didn't actually do much, even though I, I did play four games. So let's, let's do the ARAM achievement, I guess. Heal 10,000 damage, consume red health potions 10 times. These are such a waste of gold on fiddlesticks. I never buy them. That is a lot of XP, blue essence stuff. So let's like spam buy them in uh, ARAM, I guess. Uh, wait. Hold the phone. And I, if I hit play, does it automatically go to... It automatically goes to bots. That's an interesting, like, thing. My background, by the way, is not just black, it's like a cute Latias, if you were wondering. Like, I don't just have a black <laughs> desktop. There was a furry fox girl over here, but I removed her so you don't make fun of me. So, now we got like a... S Take another champion's ultimate ability in place of your own summoner spells and devise a powerful combo to surprise your enemies. I have literally never played this. I'm doing ARAM first, because I want the brand champion permanent. Which I probably already have, but I, I mean, 225 blue essence is 225 blue essence, dude. I will take any advantage I can get. And that's it, right? Yeah, just a shard. Almost level 13. That's, like, pretty okay, I guess. These are, like, the same as last year. It's based on what you've played. Yeah, there's a Malphite skin. Still have to buy it with real-world money, so it's completely useless to me. Don't really care too much about playing any of those characters. So, yeah, how you get the key fragments is like people honor you after the game, and then based on those honors, you, you get key fragments. And if you get enough honors, your your honor level can go from zero to five. You, everyone the starts in two. Calls. I answer. That is not how I remember her voice sounding. I will play Volibear if he doesn't want it. You know, set sounds like fun. Punch people in the face. I'm undisputed. I'm on field. Feel the power of the wild. Give me my champion that I actually want to play. Let's go. Alright, well that was fun playing Malphite and all, but let's get 
our first fiddle game. Cheap Shot is really good because basically everything Fiddlesticks does impairs the opponent. And secondary, I usually go Cosmic Insight and um, the gold one. Yeah, Cash Back. And yep, that's usually, this is usually my setup. Okay, I guess I hit the enter button by accident. Let's hit Snowball, because it's a broken summoner spell that just lets us dash like we're Zed or something. And for some reason, I always have to click off the window, then back on it. Because it's like, it starts minimized, I don't know why. And yeah, matchmaking, there's like a few people here that are just... This guy has like the biggest border that you can possibly get. Like, mm. that's not really true. The border is actually like this. That's the border. This is like a profile pick border. Like, why is this guy in my game? He's played this. He's played so much. I'm level like twelve. He's level like five hundred. Is this? Win games, all modes count with different champions. I'm just like, I guess they, they know I'm a smurf. It's like the only explanation. So I briefly talked about Fiddle last video, so... We also played against him last video. So his strength is his W and his R. But his E and Q are also strong, they're just like in different ways. They are... his Q is a point and click fear. W is you stand still for 2.5 seconds, draining the everyone around you, and then healing for a percentage of the damage dealt, and if it's not cancelled by the end of the duration, and they're still inside the like the little range around you, uh, then Fiddle will do 12% missing health damage to them. And uh, you heal for that amount, so it's like a pretty big burst of healing. It's not enough to offset like a carry auto-attacking you. Like Yasuo will still cut you in half, and then Fiddle's E is just like a little area that you can choose like where you want to hit. And that in that area is a slow, and in the center of that area is a silence. So you can silence people. There aren't too many silences left in the game, because they're really good. The ability to like remove people's ability to do anything other than auto attack and move is like they can't use spells or summoner spells. Like it's pretty good. R is, yeah, we, I mean, we saw it last video, but maybe you didn't watch last video, so I'll say anyway. Uh, Fiddlesticks' is R is he stands still for a, about a second and a half, and then he teleports to a location, and has a massive area around him that does damage. And it's one of the strongest abilities in the entire game. It does, like, 1700 base damage plus 250 AP, per, like, percent AP. So he does build ability power. Somebody is building their PC right now as they're trying to play, which is a, <laughs> a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see how it works out for him. <laughs> Asuo and Yone both studied the same school of swordcraft. It was this training that the brothers called upon in their fight to the death. Except Yone didn't die for some reason. So you can kind of see the honor levels. This, this guy's honor level 5. This guy's honor level 3? 4? It says 4. This is 4. Blue is 3. Like, 1 and 0 are like the... Because it's kind of meant to be like a plant, I guess. 0 is just completely shattered. There's like a line there. It's like somebody with dementia trying to do a self-portrait. Level 1 is like... There's a few leaves growing on like a dead plant. And then 2 is a uh, green... Blue is 3, and 4 is purple, and 5 is orange. Yep. If you get on level 5, I think you get, like, a chroma for Twitch or Warwick. Or, like, a skin for them. The skins used to be only for uh, people that recommended a certain amount of people play. So somebody is AFK, I don't know who. Probably gonna remake. Can you even remake Aaron? just ate spicy food. So my nose is running. 
cool that you have all three abilities. I guess we want to go Guardian Swarm, because it's a Aram specific item that's insanely Welcome broken. Twilight? Oh, the Nidalee. Yeah, so I'm like a horror, horror creature. I'm like a demon who found a bunch of garbage and made it into a body. Didn't hit anyone. There's nobody in here, guys. There's a Silas. If I attack people while I'm not seen, I fear them. See? Those minions were very afraid. And then I have to be out of combat for a while. That guy's here. Level my W ability. And if I complete my W, then I actually get a refund on the cooldown. See, 8 to 4. It's pretty nice. And they're just, like, not killing me, which is always a good surprise. Okay. I'm just farming Dark Harvest right now. Like, you're gonna ignore me? Then I shall just hit my W button. Because the counter to Fiddlesticks is, count is like, cancelling his, uh, attack. So Dark Harvest is on cooldown unless you get a kill or an assist, so I'm just kind of hanging out. Trying to get one of the two. Now the issue I do have is mana. My health is basically infinite, but I can run out of mana. The thing that makes Guardian Hearn so good is it blocks 15 damage, like, incoming damage. Although these do recover some mana. Dang. Alright, my... Dark Harvest is ready. In place. Let's fear this guy. Give me my Dark Harvest. Since we got a takedown, I can... Okay, scared the shit out of that guy. More harvest from them. Getting stacks like crazy. It is nerfed in... It's, it is nerfed in... Uh... Oh, I don't have mana. This guy is just running in. Oh god, it's a bloodbath. <laughs> what is going on here? Lack of mana was not in the plan. Bombed. Okay, now they have items because they died. She has a slingshot, no! It's for the dirt girls. The sooner I get it, the better. Okay. damage to them. People usually flash away from Fiddle R. Which is a longer cooldown than my R, so it's worth it. Owned. What can we say except for owned? Almost. I kind of want the Dark Harvest deck, but I don't want to die quite yet. I'll take some mana. Which is building attack damage, so the little puddle on the ground isn't going to hurt very much. Thank you for the dark harvest. I'm literally harvesting them with a with a psych, like a sickle. Okay, they walked out of my range. We got a takedown. More dark harvest income. Yep. I would take that, but no reason to. It's not like they can heal, so. Be a free kill. Somehow, Bullerberg. 
Find Dark Rose. There we go. Ooh, because he was affected by a uh, crowd control effect. He took an extra 23 true damage. Dark Harvest is ready to go. So I will use it. My username is cool. 348. A remnant of the time before, like, usernames were, like, more exclusive. Mana, kind of. Cool, we killed everyone. Look at all the dark hearts at 21, dude. I'm just so beefy. How much damage is that? I'm doing 22 plus 80. I'm like 88. I want to fear the Amumu so he doesn't arm. Yeah, see? Oh, there's one Dark Harvest stack. They can see me so I don't fear them. I'm also in combat, I think. You have to be out of combat. Go get her. Resources bank. Anybody in here? I should really start with my E, because my E is a fear. And if you already fear somebody and then try to fear them again with your Q, it does double damage. 16%. That's quite a lot of damage. Look, he's a cat. Got more Dark Harvest stacks. I just wish I had mana, dude. Here's some. Wait. I fucked that up. There's a combo where you hit W and then flash. And uh, you keep Wing, but it, and it extends your fear. It's pretty sick. Okay, I guess I'll buy like every mana item in the fucking game. So there's like a damage build, and then there's a like utility build. I will go the damage build. So now I should just obliterate. I really need to go and practice tool and practice that combo more, I guess. Because you hit W and then flash the second you show up. I was doing it a bunch in practice tool, but it's like really rough. Can't really help from that range. Someone has to walk into my, into my bush like that. See, look how afraid he is. Did that not even fear when I ulted? That hurt. My ult is such a long cooldown. I have no haste. Because that's like what they did to the game, is they made it so now you don't just have haste and pen and mana regen all in one item. This is cool, they're kind of starting to fight back a little bit. When I don't have access to bushes, my only hope is to like... go over this wall, but... 
beard, bitches. Cool. I want a pentakill. Okay. I don't know what that was. Yeah, we are owning. I'm gonna get my dark arm stacks if you keep killing them so fast. Heal a little bit off these minions. My mana problems weren't really solved by any of my purchases. Wish this guy would quit fucking bombing me. The Ludens kill. Oh, Dominion block for him. It's a rip. Yeah, get more HP. I have a bunch of these, and I may as well spam them everywhere. More mana for Ziggs, some more health and mana for me. Ash kind of counters my champion. Because she has a vision spell. <laughs> They're like so scared of it, it's funny. <laughs> The issue is, I could snowball in with my ult active, but it wouldn't really solve anything. Now I'll use it. Back. It's going pretty well so far. I got like 29 kills in the pike game. I wonder what my total KDA was. This game I'm a lot more of a team player. This game I have a lot more assists. I was trying to hit the Amumu, like, snipe the Dark Harvest. Some pretty strong fellas there. Okay, just one shot him before I even get to help. Much? Oh yeah, I sold the Guardian's Horn, so I'm going to take more damage. I can auto-attack that for free, and he, is, he can't get in range. He has to walk into his range to use his ability, or it's going to miss. He doesn't have the range to do it, right? So I'm just able to do that for free. Pretty song, Silas. HP. Got her. 
bitch. <laughs> bitch. Doesn't seem like a very good match. 0 13, 0 15. 63 to 23. Yeah, fair match, dude. Real fair. Shoot him, Twitch. Show it up. Shut down. Silas and Mumu are lost. Now you gotta kill. See? My team will probably just win without me. Dude, I'm new. I'm trying. If you are actually new, you are doing great. Ignore them. I will get this. My like passive scarecrow thing is extremely low cooldown. 30 seconds. Three damage on him. Yeah, 2.25 second CC now. That ash thing reveals me. Look how long that is. <laughs> Alright, looking like the end of the game here. Where am I? Oh, what? I thought, like, I was in the Rizal, so I was gonna teleport with him over there. Even the camera thought so, and it moved. But then, like, I hit spacebar to reorient my camera, and I'm, like, over here, <laughs> killing them, I guess. <laughs> I have three honors. I'll give it to the two new players, and, uh, I guess, I don't know who else. I guess, uh, Rise? I don't know. Well played, dude. Give me my brand champion permanent. Yes. Look at all this free stuff. DPS threat. ARAM legend. Earn S on or higher in ARAM. Wise master. Plus 1200. Okay, I guess Fiddle's number one now. All random, all champions. Wonder how much damage I did. Okay, the most in the game. Amumu was the most honorable player. Confirmed. Okay, and they have no more shit talk. That's cool. Any crypto cancer? We got 80 of these doubloons. Uh, I don't know what to purchase with that. I'm probably just spamming fiddlesticks for the foreseeable future, so I don't really need that. Why does my profile have a little orange dot by it? Gain health or shield through map-based healing sources, honey fruit, health shrines, and power flowers. Isn't that something from... Ario? Past rank. Locked until next split. I level 12, dude. There's no ranks to be found. <laughs> yeah, Fiddle's number one, though. Would that give me? Chest I can't use, and I already have this, yeah. Oh well. Oh well. I guess I'll just hold on to this, because, like, I think I have all the characters I need to play ranked. I just need to be level 30. But there's the ARAM that we needed to do, apparently. Now we need to do a. play a PvP match made game for Lux Champion permanent. And I healed, but I forgot about the potions. Dude. I had so much money, I could have bought, like, the whole dude's entire stock. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I guess next video I was gonna do, uh, to see, like, try to find the differences in the bot AI anyway, so... I guess we'll try to do that next time. But for now, see you next time. Bye. Ooh.